Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today I'm going to take some wooden leaves and some folk art ultra dye and create some seasonal coasters for my home. I also have some added tips for you on other ideas you could do with this simple idea. Let's get started. This project started with these little wooden leaves that I had five of. And I was excited to try this folk art ultra dye that comes in a variety of beautiful, vivid colors. I started with the color Pucker Up. And make sure you shake well these before using and use gloves to protect your hands from the dye. I have painted the entire main part of the leaf with this color. I then used the color Solar Power to do the indents in the leaf and around the outside of the leaf. Let the dyes soak into the wood as long as you want. When you're ready, wipe off the excess. For my next leaf, I use infrared and hot flash. I repeated the process of painting the main leaf one color and the indents a different color. It's fun to play with the dye. You can add more, you can leave it on longer, and it affects the color onto the wood. For my next leaf, I used Emerald City and Venom colors. I was aiming for a darker color on the inside of the leaves and a lighter color on the outside, but you could easily mix and match many of these colors. On this leaf, I used Rendezvous and Raspberry Beret. I learned that similar colors, if you messed up and actually got some on the wood, it was okay. The colors were similar enough that you didn't see a huge difference in the bleed or overlay. The other option would be to wait till one dries and then add the other. For my last leaf, I did Lady Marmalade and Purple Rain. A couple of tips. Once I had some extra dye on the gloves and when I touched the wood, it colored the wood, of course. So be careful when crossing colors that your gloves are clean if you don't want it to mix. Also, as you see here, I had some colors bleed. So you might want to let one dry before using another. Here are the leaves when I was done, and I let them dry completely before moving on. These dyes were so fun to work with, and there are more colors available as well. I decided to use my leaves as coasters. Because it is a dye, I recommend spraying them or coating them with a sealer of something like Mod Podge. I can use these leaves inside or out, and they're great for this fall season. Another idea would be to add magnets to the back and put them on a refrigerator. Or glue on some twine to make hanging leaves, or perhaps a garland for your mantle. Glue them to a wreath form to create a fall wreath. I love the vivid colors and how easy this was to work with. With so many possibilities, what would you do? I hope this inspires you to make something seasonal for your home and maybe give Folk Art Ultra Dye a try. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.